I have these small square five and a half by five and a half glass frames. I got these from Target and what I liked about these is they have a double glass so that you can press flowers or leaves in between the glass. You really do not need these exact frames to create this project. You can just use a regular picture frame from the Dollar Tree. So I removed two of the glass panels and I have a paper plate that I'm putting some Wise Owl Snow Owl onto. And you can use any color of your choice. I always go for white and I have the salt wash. I'm going to take a scoop of the salt wash and I just kind of mix together until I get the consistency that I like. And if I put too much salt wash, then I just add a little bit of paint. And the salt wash is basically just in paint additive and it gives your project some texture. The salt wash can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And once I was done mixing, I have a foam dabber. I get these from the Dollar Tree or you can also find larger packs on Amazon. And I'm just going to dab the salt wash all over the entire five and a half by five and a half inch piece of glass. And I do not want it too thick, but I do want good coverage so that you cannot see through to the other side. And I did that on both pieces of glass. And now this is not a winter project, but I did think to myself that this is a great way to make some fake snow. We will be getting into some of the Christmas projects in the next week or so. And once I had them fully covered, you want that to dry really well. Once it's dry, I have these leaf stencils. These are cardboard, so they're kind of like a one-time use. I got them in a pack from Target. But you can use any leaf stencil, Hobby Lobby and Michaels, both have good options. And I'm just going to take my foam dabber and I'm going to start dabbing some goldenrod. And it just grabs the raised area from the salt wash. And then I'm just adding a few different colors. So the next color I added was Spanish olive. And then the third color I added was mandarina. And I'm just lightly dabbing on top of my stencil and the paint is just grabbing the raised textured areas. And then I'm just going to lift it. So now I have my first leaf on the one panel and then I'm going to add a second leaf to the other panel. And I have two different shape leaves and this stencil came from Hobby Lobby. And again, I'm just starting with my goldenrod and then I'm just adding the Spanish olive and then a little bit of mandarina. And you can create this with any colors of your choice. And I thought the second glass panel that we removed and set to the side, you can create a different theme, whether it be for a different season, so that you can just interchange the two pieces of glass for whatever season you are in. So I allowed that to dry and I have my laser cut wood letters and the first word I spelt was hello and you can totally skip this step. I spray painted the hello and then I spray painted the word fall. And I set those aside to dry. Once dry, I glued them onto the glass panel. And now the only thing with gluing the letters on the panel is you now cannot remove it. So you can also put them on the wood. I got these mini Christmas tree bows from Hobby Lobby and they were just the perfect size to add to the bottom of my leaf. And I did that to both of the leaves. And I'm just making the stem a little longer. And then I went to my second panel and added the word fall. So these two go together, hello fall and then add the small little bow. And there you go. Now it's just this really cute leaf wall decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.